Hello everybody. Today's video is going to be a quick little um, review, mini review, just a little one because I don't have too much of an opinion yet, just just a little opinion um, and a little swatching, maybe put a little bit on my cheekbones of the, oh wait for it, the Tarte Tardius Pro Glow to go. I've seen the large size palette all over all over YouTube. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody says it's great. Aw, look at Jack, guys. You guys see Jack? Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? <gasps> there he is. All over the internet, I've seen this big Tarte Pro Pro Glow palette. Ah, I'll link it down below the large size. And I was like, you know what? I want to try it. I've been wanting to branch out with more contour shades. Mama's always in the market for a new highlighter. So I decided to pick up the little one when I was in Sephora. I gave this little guy a swatch and I was like, oh, it was so pretty. So then I went home and then I ordered it online and now I have it and I'm ready to show it to you guys. Please ignore how red my shoulder is and my chest is. Um, this is new, this little, this little bad boy over here. This is new and it's itching and it's driving me crazy. So I'm just like scratching all around it. So I'm a little red and I'm a little swollen and I'm a little crazy, but, and also please don't Please don't judge my hair or my makeup if you can. I have been awake for, I have been up since 4.30. It is now 6.30, so that's what, 14 hours. This makeup has been on since 8 o'clock. So that's what, uh, 10 and a half hours of makeup time. So if it looks a little haggard, that is why. I just got home from work and I was excited to sit down and show you guys this palette. So. If you like this type of video, or if you have this palette, please comment down below, let me know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it so I can keep making this type of video. This is, I think, gonna be my first product review. No, nope, I lied to you, this is my second product review. Either way, comment down below, like this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because then you can see my actual makeup looks where I use this little guy assuming that I like it. So if you would like to see my thoughts and my little mini review and my swatches of this here cute little palette, just keep on watching. All right, everybody, so let's bust into my little Sephora bag here. <laughs> As you see, there's writing all over it. Um, my coworker, Kenneth, decided to write all over it. He put Brad Erstein, number one fan, because he's, he's a nerd and he's sweet. So let's bust into this little bag here and pull out this little palette. All right, and let's see what it looks like. All right, so here's the packaging. Super cute. I'm into it. It's like a little book. It looks like this little, little book. I guess it's kind of just like a palette, but you know, I think it's kind of cute. It's just a matte black packaging with gold writing. Super cute, super simple. I like it, and I love this size. It's gonna be so good for me. I can never go through a whole, a whole product. I think I've only hit pan on one thing, like ever. At least in a long time. I never go through all of it, so these little sizes are perfect for me. So let's crack this guy open. <sighs> this thing smells so good. It smells like chocolate and love and everything I want. All right, so this is the palette. Look, look at those colors, oh my God. This one here is called Gleam, this one is Burst, and this one is Chisel. So we have kind of a cool toned highlight, a warm toned highlight, and then kind of, the, the contour shade looks a little bit warm, but it's more on the neutral side. I'm really excited to show you how these work because I actually did use these today. I put it back in the box so I can make this video so you can see what the packaging looks like. But I did, I did use this product today and I was, honestly, I'm really, really impressed. Especially with the, um, the chisel here, the contour shade. Do you see it? It's very really nice. I wasn't expecting this to be my favorite. I'm, I mean, I thought it would be fine, but this is actually, I don't know if it's my favorite, because I like them all. But I have about a zillion highlighters, which maybe if you want, I could do a video on all of my highlighters because I have a lot of highlighters. Highlighters and lipstick, those are the two things that I gravitate towards and I buy the most. As far as the highlighters, I was excited, but I have other highlighters and I'm not gonna say these are my favorite ones, but I definitely like them. I'll have to play around with them more. Um, but this, so I'm not saying these aren't good highlighters because they're great, you'll see in a second. I'm just saying I have to compare them to my other ones and see how I feel about that, but this, this is beautiful. This kind of reminds me of, wait a second, this color chisel here reminds me a little bit of the brown contour shade in the Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche. They're really similar. Let me show you. Okay. They're, pr they're pretty similar. Let's see. Let's swatch them on the back of my hand here. Okay, when you see them there, they're, they are a little bit different. 
Um, the Wet n Wild's a lot more powdery. It's a lot more powdery, and it's a little bit warmer toned. I don't know if you, it's picking that up on the camera, but I can see it in person. So this was my go-to. This has been my go-to if I'm gonna contour, which I'm not really one to contour that much, but this thing, this color right here looked so good. Like my cheeks looked so good today when I used this that I might start doing it more, honestly. This might have, this might have changed the game for me when it comes to contouring. All right, so now that I've shown you the colors in the pan, let's get into the swatches so you can see what these look like. All right, so the first shade I'm gonna swatch here is Chisel. Let me clean off my hand there, let me clean it off a little bit. All right, so this is Chisel. Oh, the contour shade, very nice. It looks a little warmer on camera, but on the cheeks, it's so nice and perfect. All right, the next shade that I have here is Burst. Do, do you see? And this here, I'm not flipping you off, I'm just showing it up. This is Burst. Do you see that? It's, it's not picking up on camera as beautiful as it is in real life. I wore this today with a little bit of a, with a little bit of gleam on top of this one. Just, oh, I love a gold highlight. A gold highlight is after my own heart. Hmm. All right, and the last shade we're gonna swatch here is Gleam. This is more of a cool toned highlight. It almost has like a pinky taupey undertone. It's really, it's honestly really pretty. Can you see it? Is it picking up? So these are the three colors here. Those highlighters though. Oh my god, and that contour shade. Oh, I love it. I, I feel like this is gonna be a win for me. I'm gonna play around with it more. All right, so now that we've seen the swatches on my hand, how about I get a little brush and put a little bit of one on one cheekbone and one on the other cheekbone and show you how they perform a little bit. All right, for the cheek swatches, I have two of these brushes. These are the Real Techniques Setting Brush, and honestly, these are so good for highlight. Let's go ahead and dip into these. All right, so I have one clean brush here, and I'm going to go into Gleam. And let's pop that on my cheekbone. I don't know if the camera is picking up all this wonderful, but girl, I am. Now let's take the other clean brush here. This is the one I just used. This is the one I'm gonna use now. And let's dip into that burst. All right, now let's pop burst on my cheekbone here. Golden highlights have a place in my heart like no one's business. I can't even explain how much I love a golden highlight. Not that I don't love this icy cool tone one, but Gold is where it's at for me. All right, so now I'm gonna take this Real Techniques blush brush. I don't use this for blush. I use a stippling brush typically for blush. This is what I'm gonna use for the contour. And I'm just gonna kind of be careful because this is a bigger brush. And kind of dip into that there, tap that off. Let's just go back in one more time with Gleam, because I like a nice icy one on the tip of my nose. Let's put a little bit of Gleam on the tip of my nose. All right, so I think it's pretty safe to say, and I'm pretty sure you probably already guessed that, I would say that this palette is a win. I like it, I like it so much. I'm excited to play with it. I don't have much else to say about it. I think it's a win. I think you should go out and get it, and if you don't want to spend all the money on the full size palette, Please, God, ignore this little clip. I'm trying not to look crazy. I'm trying not to look crazy, please. But seriously, if you don't feel like spending the, I don't even know how much it is for the full size palette, I'll link it down below, but if you don't feel like spending the full size dollars, if you don't feel like spending the full price on the big size palette, I think this is great. Um, I think it's worth it. I'm not one to cream contour and the other one has a cream contour shade in it, so this is kind of perfect for me. And if you like a small little palette and you like these colors, I think it would be perfect for you too. And I think it's only 23 bucks and you get two highlights and a contour. I think that is.
it's worth it. All right, thank you for watching my video on the Little Part Pro Glow To Go palette. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let's have a conversation. Let's get a dialogue going. Make sure to subscribe. Please make sure to subscribe so I know that the content I am providing is satisfactory to the audiences out in the YouTube world. And also, if you subscribe, you could see a makeup look that I do using this in the future. So again, thank you for watching. Please come back to my channel for future videos, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.